Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of Daniel Sodders, episode 4. Um, and welcome to a new episode of Daniel's videos and etc, guys. Well, here in this episode we're going to assemble yet another Velamin kit. This is an electronic decision maker. Difficulty 2. Soldering is required, of course. 1 microamp idle and 8 milliamps in use, power consumption. This is the electronic decision maker. Model MK135 on the back it says that helps make difficult yes or no decisions ideal for the inaccessive for the indecisive simply push to start flashing of yes or no LEDs flashing speed gradually decreases and finally the one LED remains lit specs include We've got the low power consumption, auto power off, battery supply, power supply, 9 volt battery, not included. Dimensions measures at 55 by 30 by 35 millimeters and 2.2 by 1.2 by 1.4 inches. Of course, made in Hong Kong. Nong Kong? Made in Nong Kong? What is Nong Kong? <laughs> um, I think they spelt that wrong. Never, I don't know, okay, don't judge me if there is really a country called Nong Kong, but I've never seen that before. Anyway, um, yeah. I wonder if any of their other kids actually say Nong Kong. Anyway, alright guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and open the box here shortly and uh, we'll take a look at what's inside. Surprisingly, when I removed the card thing from the back of that, and the manual, the ubiquitous manual was there, but including the manual included this uh, information sheet, which is interesting, because I've never seen that before in an, in a Velamin kit. So, your typical instructions, resistors, solders, socket, button, lead, transistors, 9-volt um, battery compartment. Everything's all in one baggie and an IC. Alright, so here's the circuit board or the PCB. Nothing much to solder here. Very small kit. It's the smallest I've ever done. A socket. Capacitors, transistor, LEDs are very tiny. Screws, button. Yep. Let's see how that button sounds. Not very, very loud, but it's a button. All right, guys. Well, we'll begin here. As usual, we will begin soldering with the resistors. We'll go with resistor one, all the way to resistor seven. I'll come back to you guys when I'm done with those. Okay, I got the resistors in appropriate holes. I'm going to solder and trim them. I'll come back to you guys after that. Okay, the resistors are all soldered. Alright, now for the diodes. And I will catch you guys later on that. Alrighty, I got the diode installed already. Right there. Yep. 
Alright, next for the IC socket, I'm going to put it in. Come back to you guys in a moment. The IC socket's in, but not soldered. As usual, I bent two of the pins to keep it in place, so I'm going to go ahead and solder it right now. Come back to you guys after I do. Alright, I got the socket installed here. All in. Next, we got the button. Button installation is very simple. Just You just simply put the button into the slot and then you just solder it to make sure it doesn't fall out. Alrighty, I got that button soldered. And next, I got it installed in the yes and the no LEDs. Okay, I got those LEDs soldered, or not yet, but I'm going to right now. Alright, now to trim the legs. Alright, now for the resistors. We got resistor BC557 and BC547. So this one right here, so this transistor right here is BC547. And I believe 557's in the bin. Let me make sure. Yep, this is BC557. And this is 547. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in right now. Come back to you guys when I'm about ready to solder them in. Alrighty, I got the uh, resistors or transistors in. I accidentally bent this one pushing it in, but uh, I hopefully didn't break it, so we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and solder them and trim them. Come back to you guys in a moment. Okay, I got those transistors in. Yep. They're all soldered. Now to put in those electrolytic caps. Alrighty, I got the electrolytics or at least some of them in into their corresponding holes. I'm going to finish doing that. And I'm going to solder this down, get the other one in its hole and solder that down, trim the legs, and I'll come back to you guys in a moment after that. Alrighty, I've trimmed in the resistors. Now, last but not least, the socket, then the battery. I'm going to go ahead and put the socket in, and I'll catch you guys back after that. Alrighty, I got one, or I got the socket in. I'm at the IC. As you guys may have known, I meant IC in the other in the earlier part of the video just before I made this one. This segment, I meant IC. So yep, I got that IC in. Now I'm gonna put the battery cover in. I'm going to solder it in, screw it in, tighten it. And then once I get the battery, we will test it out. And I will make a video after I put the battery pack in completely. I'll get you guys back in a moment. Alright guys, I have finished the kit, all I need is a battery, I'm going to go get one in a moment. So yep, I will get a battery, uh, and by the way, I got the battery pack screwed on, I'm going to get a battery, and we're going to test this out, so hold on a second. Alright, got our ubiquitous Berkey and Jensen battery, on the garbage in the trash here. Alright, let's see if this works. Guys, thank you for watching this episode of Daniel Sauter's episode 4. Thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one. Um, yep, see you guys in the next one. I will catch you guys later and uh, thank you for watching. Like, dislike, if you hated it or liked it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.